What a weird day this has been. Trying to find forms that don't exist. Fighting trainers that I fought all day for a while ago. And mochi. So much mochi. But you know what? This is like the only other thing I haven't done. Snacksworth here has a lot of sightings that he has seen, and now I want to see them all, so we're gonna go through the whole line of them. Now let's see if you've chipped away at those BBQs or not. Have us the bets you've gone and done two group quests. Only two? I'd say you've earned yourself one of my special snacks. A Spectier snack. That, there's a Spectre snack. A treat, sorry, treat. You know Spectre, frightfully rare that one. Not your run-of-the-mill Pokemon. Speaking of Spectre, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger fellow. I was off hiking among Paldea's peaks for a bit of fun, mountain climbing being a bit of a hobby. I was taking my sweet time... Min mindering, I guess? Up some mountain pass, dotted sparsely with trees. I came upon this old ruin on the path, covered in vines, and I thought to myself, Now doesn't that seem as good of a place as any to take a rest? I'd no sooner drawn close boy look than this black shadow of a Pokemon that appeared! English! I speak it sometimes! A uh, Spectre had been sleeping inside! It popped its long face out and scared the spirit out of me! It loves the snack you have there, so you might just have a shot meeting it too. If you run into old Spectre, be sure to give it my best. I'm sure I will, but you have more snacks, so... Go on, fork them over! Kyogre Tree. Well, since considering how big the Pokemon is, it shouldn't be that hard to find. But, of course, this is a video game, so it won't be that big. That there's a Kyogre treat. You know Kyogre? Frightfully rare, that one. Not one of the run-of-the-mill Pokemon, blah. Speaking of Kyogre, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger fella. I was on another one of my adventures around Paldea when I spot these odd rocks in the sea. I thought to myself, now snacks worth. Those gotta be those famous rocks said to bring riches. So I figured I might as well squeeze my eyes shut real tight and make a wish on them. After a few seconds, I opened my eyes and what you appear in front of those rocks but Kyogre. Just big and blue and brazen as you please. Now that was a shocking day, make no mistake. It loves that snack you have there, so you might have the chance of meeting it. Give Kyogre my best. What else do you have? You've done four group quests. The Latios tree. Ooh, nice. That's the Latios tree, all right. Frightfully rare. I've certainly not seen enough of them yet. I was off enjoying a spa backstroke in the sea to the south of Paldea at the time. I've been going on for a good while, so I'd come to feel a bit tuckered out and in need of a rest. Came ashore to rest on the sand in the shower of some cliffs. When, would you believe it, a Latios was there, just right there before me. Her eyes met and gave me a jolly little smile. Then it flew off again out of sight. It loves that snack you have there, so go find it. What's this? You've done five? You maniac! You get more treats! This one's a Lugia treat! A fan favorite for sure! In fact, I do recall this one particular encounter that I was paddling in the sea off Paldea, enjoying a leisurely backstroke through those crystal waters. But it was a real frigid stretch of sea, you understand? Didn't take long in that water before I'd start to lose all the warmth in my body. I was shaking like a leaf by the time I found an island and crawled ashore. What should appear before me but a great whirlpool heaving in the sea and whoosh! Out of it comes Lugia itself. I was knocked flat on my backside in a shock of it all. So delightful I forgot I was even cold. 
He loves that snack, and you love Lugia too, I guarantee it. Heavens the Betsy, you've done six group quests! Here's a Lunala treat. That there's a Lunala treat, yes siree! I do recall one encounter when it was a I was on a fine sandy beach in Paldea, gazing out at the sun as it set into the sea. Looking at the sun really reminds me well, reminds you just how small you are as one person, you know? I was getting all sail mail as I watched the light slip away. Oh, this this one's depressing. I hadn't yet disappeared when suddenly this great crescent moon bloomed before my eyes. It was only there for an instant, so it was hard to get a good look. But I'm sure that silhouette belonged to Lunala. Well, my name's not Snacksworth! Why is your name Snacksworth? You've done seven? Seven group class! Well, here's a Turokian treat! And not the one you're looking for! I don't know that for sure, but I can kind of see it in your eyes and hear it in your voice. Anyway, speaking of myself, it was just a regular day and I was out doing a bit of my beloved rock climbing as I am wont to. I... I sure I said that word wrong. I'd make it up quite high. When I turned around for a breath, I could just make out Contondo in the distance, off to the south. I was simply standing there, admiring that view, when the next thing I knew, Tarakian had plonked down for a sit right beside me. Perhaps it was simply at loose ends? It sat with me for a time, and we ate some snacks together. It loves that snack you have there. And etc! But guess what? I have more because you've done ten solo quests. Oh. Oh, we, we no longer have the... Okay. You've earned a special snack. This is the Latios treat. Oh, I can get both of them. Awesome. Speaking of Latios and me... I do recounter the day that I smack dab into it brazen as please while I was up in Northeast Paldea. See, we couldn't speak each other's language. But I got the feeling it was telling me to follow it. So I gave chase when Latios flew off. And I ended up climbing these mighty steep cliffs. Next time I looked up, I realized I'd come to a small lake nestled in between some jagged cliffs. It was a secret spot, all right. And it loves that snack. What else have you done for snacks worthy here? You've done 20 solo quests. Trust me, I think I've done hundreds now. Well, here's a Suicune treat for you! And just wait till you hear about my encounter with Suicune! I spotted it once, while I was out enjoying that famous lake you've got in Paldea. We ended up having a little contest of skill, seeing which one of us could get all the way to shore fastest. We were off like a shot, but that Suicune, well, it runs right over the water now, don't it? Me being just your everyday human, the best I could manage was a nice solid backstroke. It was a fine race though, mighty fine. Even if that sweet Suicune did end up beating me by a whisker. Uh, community question. Whose stories are crazier to believe? His or... Oh shoot, what was her name? I forgot her name from Alola. I was about to say Mallow, but it's not Mallow. Gosh dang it, I forgot her name. You've done 30 solo quests! How about a Raikou treat for you? You know Raikou? I know about Raikou! There was this one day that me and old Raikou went racing up a mountain together. Didn't even talk about how he met it. That Raikou, it's no slouch, that's for sure, kept dashing past me and taking the lead. I was huffing and puffing and murmuring some colorful things <laughs> as I chased that wily Pokemon. That was, that's kind of funny. 
Uh, but in the end, we were sitting side by side atop that peak, gazing out upon the massive and majestic desert that covers the land to the north. Actually, I like that part of the story that you may or may have not made up. Then again, I'm a ten-year-old kid who keeps grabbing a hold of other legendary mythical Pokemon. Anyway, Sogaleo! Well, here's a Sogaleo treat for doing 40 individual quests. Speaking of Sogaleo, I'd gone to pay Paldea's Pokemon League a little visit at that fine building you've got there. I was just admiring the structure from the outside when one of the staffers noticed me and invited me in for a better look. They took me up to the observation deck all done up with their logo of theirs. I was looking towards the Akami and joined the view when a shower fell across us. I kid you not, young friend, it was Sogaleo itself. It was only there for a moment before it dashed right off again in a flash, so I couldn't even get in a how do you do? But it was magnificent. That Sogaleo is good. It's so, so good. I had to throw that stupid reference in there. You've done 50 solo quests! I'd say you've earned quite a few treats. Ooh, cup food, though. Okay. That, there's a cup food! Yep! <laughs> Speaking of, I was adventuring off in Paldea when I saw cup food training. I ampled right up to it and asked, Oh ho ho, hard at work training, are you? Why the two of us got on like a house on fire, what? We trained together for a time, till Cub Fu seemed to be itching to move on. But it left me a gift. It plucked up a haul of bamboo sprouts that grew nearby just for me. What did you do with the bamboo? Do you know how big bamboo is? You've done 60 solo quests! I'm not gonna answer any of your stuff, but hey! Glacier now! Glacier! The Ice Horse! Uh, I was off hiking among Paldea's peaks for a bit of fun, mountain climbing being a bit of a hobby. I've run out of jokes. I was trekking up and up those snowy hillsides, and I figured I must have been nearly to the summit when I came across some ruins. They were house ones, perhaps? The wall still looked sound enough that I thought I could take shelter and have myself a little rest. I no sooner drawn close for a look than this Pokemon appeared. Why is the driven snow? Glacier had been sleeping inside. When it popped its long face out, froze my heart. Not spooked it, froze it. Now, uh, what about Calyrex? The one that rides those two. You've done 70 solo quests! Do you have a life? Well, here's the Moltres treat, since you don't have one! Doesn't that burn you up inside? Anyways, I was off doing a spa of rock climbing over in Western Paldea at the time. The weather was sure something else that day. Sandstorms were kicking up the whole desert. My mouth was as sandy as the ground. I was about ready to call it quits when... Moltres appeared in a blaze of glory so bright you could see it through the blowing sand. I don't know if it meant to cheer me on, but it certainly did and I completed my climb that day. It loves that snack you have there, so if you're running a girl, Moltres... I don't know, maybe give it to me. I... I can't catch these legendary Pokemon to save my life. A grounding treat! I've got plenty of these treats, though! Who knows how I got them? But I did spy old ground them once, back in the days when I was adventuring around Paldea. You know the huge cave system under that one town? I never can remember the name. Anyways, the name doesn't matter, except to say that that's the place where I saw that feller. I thought to myself, well, if that ain't grounded, and I gave a big wave from my arms to say hello. That's a normal thing people do. 
What else are you supposed to do when face with the content Pokemon, I ask you? Good question. It deserves another snapshot so I can make fun of it. So anyways, I did that. And then it showed me its huge fearsome claws that it did. What, what happened? Did you live? Did you die? I think you died. <laughs> I'm sure I died a little inside with all these stories. 90 solo quests! We're almost to a hundred! Here's a ho-ho treat! I know how much you like ho-ho! Don't ask questions! Just hear my story! So, now this is a real old tale from those long ago days when I just started out as a trainer. I was down in the southwest of Paldea, near the cas cascading waterfalls down there, sorry. I've been up through the night, training without rest to try to make my Pokemon stronger. Then ho -Oh appeared in the sky above me, glittering and sparkling bright as you ever saw. I'd sure like to believe that it appeared there to cheer me on when I was trying so hard. Anyways, I love snacks. Go get him. Champ in the making. But you've also done a hundred solo quest! Reshiram! Perfect! Right after ho -Oh. He knows me so well. That's a Reshiram treat. Rightfully rare, that one. I do recall this one instance when I saw Reshiram with my own eyes out near a town that I passed through in Paldea. It was a town where a lot of hardworking folk lived. The type to get their hands dirty. I should take a picture of that, but I'll find it eventually. I climb up to a nice height to look out upon all their hard work carved into the landscape. I was just remarking to myself what a fine show of effort it was. When I seemed to feel a presence behind me. And when I turned, BAM! There was a restaurant right at my shoulder. I figured it must like good old fashioned hard work too. Loves that snack. Uh, don't ask me about Zekrom. You haven't earned that right yet, I don't think. Oh my gosh, he's going past the hundred. When do you stop talking? <laughs> ah, Zapdos! I climbed right up to the tippy top of one of those lighthouses you've got in Paldea, and I was taking in the view looking over a distant say It's really a lighthouse, huh? When would you believe it, the heavens broke wide open and rain started pouring down on me. I thought I'd get better get out of that mess in a hurry, so I turned to head down again. Then the whole sky lit up like a huge crash of lightning and Zapdos came flying out of nowhere! It blew right by me, quick as a flash! It loves the snack! So run into Zapdos, give it my best! Oh boy, he just keeps going. I keep going. Alright, I got all the legendary birds to show up. That's an Kuno tree. Here's my story. I found this lovely pond up in the snowy peaks of Paldea and had decided to go for a dip, hankering for a bit of cold water swimming. When would you believe it, Kuno comes swooping down along the nearby waterfall and starts flying above me, singing away. I was tickled pink, I was, when I'm merely singing with Oikuno even as the sun set and the moon rose. Before I knew it, it was morning again. That's a cute story, actually. Anything else? Of course. Meanwhile, Koda's saying, well, I can't get any more quests to show up. Alright, Entei Treat. Uh, we got Suicune. I don't think we got Raikou. No, I think I do got Raikou, right? I don't know. Here's the Entei Treat story! Would you believe it? I simply ran smack dab into Entei while venturing in Paldea. I won't say where. You know that stretch that's died with mines, never mind. And everywhere you look, there's another hole. Oh, there was Entei popping through one of those caves like it was having a grand old time. 
I don't like to be outshone, so I did my best to keep up with the fella. Woo-wee, what a chase. We ended up all the way at the coast. Side by side as we gazed out over the endless blue. Woo! Oh, shucks. It looks like you, it's a bit early for you to be getting any of my special snacks. I reckon you'd earn one of my special snacks if you do one more group quest. Okay, Koda. Oh, wait. You want to just hear one of my grand old tales about rare and wondrous Pokemon? Sure! With Pokemon! I got plenty. Oh. Koridon! Tell me about Koridon! <laughs> Well, friend, I don't rightfully know what to tell you. There's no snack of mine. That is no snack of mine. Beautiful. Ah, uh, beautiful. Okay. Well, I've gotten as many of them as I can to show up, but apparently I need to do way more group quests. So, I will be back to finish up everything he has to say once that happens. Till then, this has been We the Play. I got nothing left to say. I got a migraine. Enjoy your day! Take care out there, and I'll catch you later.